Hello, this is Landon from Design Visionaries, and in this video I would like to show you how to do a whole pattern on a curved face, but not only just a whole pattern, but a whole pattern with a spreadsheet modified holes, so you can do some really cool effects with the holes that you generate. Uh, so first what I have here is a, uh, it's just a sweep I made, uh, just a curve up here and a different curve down here, I sweeped the two together and thickened it. But this is the uh, curved face that I want to put the hole pattern on. <clears throat> now, there are many, many ways in NX to do this. Um, but for this particular demo, I want to make this piece uh, like a speaker cover or a, a plate that goes over and has a bunch of little holes in it for a speaker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to curve and I'm going to use the point set command. And I'm going to make sure that I'm on face points here. And I'm going to choose the face. And in here, you'll see that you can change the margins of the points. So for here, the start U is uh, 10. I think this is in millimeters. And the end is, or maybe this is a, a percentile. Yeah, it's percentages, sorry. 10% uh, here and 90% for the end. So it gives you a 10% margin around the face that I want to put the holes in. And then you can set the amount of holes that you want to put into this. Uh, so if you want more or less, you can change that here. Uh, so I'm going to hit OK. And now I have a bunch of nice, evenly distributed holes along the UV parameters of this face. So the next thing I'm going to do is I want to populate a hole in here. Um, for this, I'm going to pick something that's relatively in the center. So I'm going to choose something maybe right here. And it's just going to be, I'm going to make it like a really tiny hole uh, just for the sake of this demo. This is not scaled up to real world values right now. So uh, maybe we'll make it 0 0.2 um, and hit OK. So it's this really incredibly small hole, pin needle hole. Um, and what I want to do is I want to pattern that hole along here, but I want the hole to grow as it goes outward toward the edge. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a pattern feature. And the feature I want to pattern is the simple hole. And it wants me to specify the from location. So we're going to start here at this point here. And then the end point or the two points are going to be my point set. So I'm just going to hover over it, make sure I select my point set. And as you can see, I have all the holes here. And I could just hit OK and I'll generate all the points, but that's not what I want to do. Uh, I want to use this spreadsheet edit function here. So I'll use edit spreadsheet. And it brings up Excel and it populates the Excel spreadsheet file with an X offset, a Y offset, and a Z offset. Because each of these points is on their own X, Y, Z location on the face. Um, so these are absolute positions, I believe. And what I want to do is I really only want the X and Y. Um, not too care. I don't care too much about the Z um, because if you're looking at it head on, you don't see the Z or depending on the axis you built it on. Um, in this case, it might be X. Um, but anyway, so right here is in this column D uh, is my default hole diameter that I'm used that I used in this pattern. And this is the value that I want to change. I want to change this so that the hole diameter grows as you get further out into the uh, pattern. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter a formula. And that's one great thing about um, using Excel to control these is you can put in your own algorithms. You can make some amazing mathematical effects if you know the right algorithm. Uh, but for this, I'm just going to use a simple one. Uh, it's just going to be the square root of the absolute value of x times y, I believe. And then we're going to times, I think, two, 2 millimeters might be good. Hit OK. Oh, that might be too big. Maybe I should go 0 0.01 or something. Um, let's go 0 0.02. Okay, so that looks good. So now when I take drag this little box down, it should copy the formula and use the values for each 
one of these XY locations. I'm going to drag it down. There's a lot of holes here. Drag it all the way down. And some of these look like they might be big. Six millimeters. I think that's okay. So now we've got this pattern. And you'll notice the hole size has changed uh, as it gets bigger. Um, you could write other functions so that it uses, you know, it rounds it out to more of a real world, you know, drill size or whatever so that you can actually manufacture this. But uh, just for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to leave it as it is and close this down. And after I close down my spreadsheet, you'll notice that the instant points in the model uh, all become these uh, green arrows. And this represents that their data is being controlled with the spreadsheet. So now if I hit OK, it's going to try to generate all these holes with the different diameters based off that algorithm. So again, I, I might have selected the middle hole again when I hit uh, instance. But anyway, as you can see, as it travels further out, the holes become bigger. So this would be really awesome if you had a algorithm that was uh, radial um, so that when you make a linear pattern, it would grow the holes out in a radial way so that you could do these really awesome looking speaker covers. Uh, that you see on a lot of these products that are out in the market right now. Again, this is Landon Ritchie from Design Visionaries, and this was how to make a pull pattern on a curved face with spreadsheet control. For more tips, tricks, and videos like this, please visit us at designvisionaries.com slash nxtutorials, or check out our YouTube channel, and please subscribe. Thank you very much.